Rick Hale, Associate Professor, Aerospace Engineering, uh, Center for Remote Sensing of Ice Sheets, developing sensors, developing platforms for remote sensing in Greenland and Antarctica. Started five years ago uh, with a preliminary planning study for what if we replaced the manned aircraft with unmanned aircraft to, to do the same mission, uh, give us a little range scalability, a little temporal scalability, uh, and take the pilots out of harm's way. Uh, that planning study showed, yes, we should in fact look at uninhabited aircraft, uh, and we started designing it. It was designed at KU, built at KU. Uh, we've spent the last three years then, uh, well, a good year, uh, working with the scientists on what are the mission specifications, working with the sensor technology folks on how far can you miniaturize, how much can you lightweight the structures. Uh, and sensors, uh, and then designing an aircraft around that. We, we would have liked to procure an aircraft, but there just wasn't really one available for the low altitude, uh, reasonably long endurance mission that we're talking about. Uh, we are now in ground test and flight test phase. I'm Bill Donovan, and I am the chief designer of the Meridian. I'm a doctoral student in aerospace engineering. Friday we went out for our first flight uh, of the Meridian. Uh, we started the day with uh, uh, doing a lot of taxi testing, just running the airplane up and down the runway, making sure all the systems were still working, uh, all the new wiring that we did, the, the changes we made were still uh, functional. Um, got through all of that and then got approval to fly, and so then we took off and, and did our maiden, maiden voyage and uh, got the airplane around the pattern a couple times and then landed. This is a, one of the, the bigger UAVs out there, especially um, it may be the, the biggest UAV developed by a university, um, almost for sure. It's a 26-foot wingspan, 1,100-pound uh, airplane, so it's the size of a, of a salt, uh, small uh, two-passenger airplane. And so it's, um, it's a very real aircraft that can carry a very real payload uh, and, uh, and, and can fly for a, a, a very real distance. Um, and, and so just that first flight of getting it off the ground, um, we've never done anything this big and, and, and with this, uh, this, this much uh, behind it. Uh, and so it was, uh, it was a very big deal. There were tons of butterflies. Everybody was very careful, um, very um, just kind of quiet, uh, you know, paying attention to every detail, making sure that if, if we see any problem that, that we, you know, stop everything and so everybody was trying to make sure that, that everything was good and the day was perfect, the winds were perfect, the weather was good and so everything was lining up. For this flight, it was it was all manual control, um, and so it was very similar to any uh, remote control pilot uh, piloted aircraft where he he has a transmitter with his normal controls. What we're doing now is looking at all the data. It was a, an eight-minute flight, which isn't that long, but that's just tons of data, and so that's fantastic for engineers. We love that. So we get to look at everything to verify that everything worked the way it uh, is supposed to, and everything looks good so far. Um, so once we do that, then the next flights will just start to increase autonomy, and so we'll start turning the autopilot on and then verifying its functionality and then eventually go you know, over the horizon and beyond line of sight, and that's the, that'll be the, the next phase. The, the end result is, is the data for scientists, and that's really what, what's important and what it's all about is that we get um, down to Antarctica, do some measurements with uh, the radar system that was developed at KU. Uh, and get some really good data so that the scientists that are doing the modeling of these ice sheets can come up with better predictions uh, to let people know how uh, the melting of the ice sheets is going to affect sea level rise. That's really what it's all about. So that's that's our main focus is that you know this airplane is fantastic, but it needs to provide something, and, and that data is what, what it's all about. When it actually got on the ground, um, there was a, a, a moment where when finally all three wheels were uh, on the ground that it uh, I knew that it was actually going to get stopped. Uh, it was still moving, but it was still—it was still—you were still nervous that it wasn't going to—that it wasn't going to work. But you knew that it was done, and it—and it was successful, and that was a very good feeling.